Super City. The futuristic metropolitan home of, well, everything. A bustling hub of culture, commerce, and class warfare. Sitting pretty at the top of the food chain is your classic evil mega-corporation, Fun Fun Co., a.k.a. The Man. A bunch of soulless leeches draining the arcade industry dry. Still, there are those who resist. Enter the gangs of Super City, who come from near and far. To Gilly's Arcade, the last bastion of true gaming in a sea of corporate bloodsuckers and sellouts. But the independent spirit of this gaming oasis can't fend off Fun Fun Co. forever. Luckily, Gilly has a plan. Or at least I hope I do. Ah, you snuck up on me, Tombot. Put that brochure away, because I've got grudges to settle. And revenge that needs revenge. Here it is. My finest game. And the last I'll ever make. What should we call it, Tombot? Arcade Geddon. I like it. Take a look at that fresh leaderboard. That's a sign of a game waiting to be played. Arcade Geddon's gonna bring the masses back to Gillies and show Fun Fun Co. they can't bully the little guy. What the hell? Something's not right. A glitch? No. I triple-checked all the code. Tombot, run a diagnostics protocol. I'm gonna check under the hood. It's worse than I thought. A virus infecting the whole system. Running its own simulations inside the game itself. But how? We only just booted it up. Damn it. My machine. Tombot, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Money grubbing scum. If Fun Fun Co. wants a war, I'll gladly call in the big guns. What do you mean the line was busy, Tombot? Forget it. I know someone else we can call. Prepare hey, it's me, Uncle Gilly. Come quickly. Nice ring to it. You know, everyone around town used to call me Gilly. Still do, but you get the idea. What do you think of the place? Not bad for only 36 years of blood, sweat, and an arm. Anyway, here's the sitch. That's short for situation. The other night, I finally finished work on my latest game. Game developers don't retire, kiddo. 
Sure, a scenic island getaway for a couple weeks would have been nice, but this arcade takes priority. You can imagine the disappointment on Mrs. Gilly's face when she heard I was back in the thick of it. Heck no! Why? Know anyone looking for 357 pounds of tattooed arcade genius? Here's the thing. Fun Fun Co. has uploaded a virus into the code. Not only are they corrupting Arcade Ageddon, but FFC is taking over the leaderboard. I think I can debug and isolate the threat, but I need you to buy me some time. The more people we get playing the game, the harder it will be for the virus to spread. The best of the best! Though you'd be surprised how tough it can be to win over people with a new game. Especially in this town, where arcades rule supreme. And the gangs don't take too kindly to us designers. Oh, plug, you're making me blush. But kill the flattery, kid. There's work to do. What do you say you help me recalibrate the machine? Son of a bitch is still on the fritz. Great. Last thing I need is some punk getting vaporized when I digitize him. Don't worry, it's stable. For the most part. I'm 70% certain you'll be fine. 75. Wanna learn the ropes or not? You're braver than I. <laughs> Just kidding. You'll be fine. Step on the platform and let's get you into the game. Plug, it's your uncle. Gilly! All right, enough small talk. Let's get you moving. First up, give me a dodge roll. Nice. A great way to avoid trouble. But say you're looking for it. You'll need some speed. Try out the sprint. It's good to feel the wind in your hair, huh? Turns out, that's not wind at all. Just a simple line of code that makes you... Okay, I can tell you're bored, so let's kick it up a notch. Make sure the jump is fully calibrated. Now onto the fun stuff. Try double jumping. You're a natural. This last one is a little tricky. Get some speed and drop at the last second to make it through the gap. Love a good power slide. Not necessarily exclusive to Arcade again. Fun fact, the first time I implemented a power slide into one of my games was in Space Groundhogs 4, Revenge of Vextronic. Okay, I can see you've moved on. Travel wire straight ahead. The fastest way from point A to B, it's still intact. Right, this is the first location. But where did I put your weapons? Practice smashing up those crates while I try to jog my memory. Ah, there she is. A milligrade grunt assault rifle. See those sapper bots? Give them hell. Oh, don't forget to reload. Shooting from the hip can be useful. But if you want a little more precision, try aiming down sight. When you're done popping those balloon heads down the hall, I've got another surprise. By killing those sapper bots, you get enough energy to use your surge combo. You can use this to tackle cool enemies. Refill your surge energy and take another shot. Really make them feel it this time. Oh, boom! Obliterating! Hard work deserves a reward. I left something up ahead for you in a chest. That's the one. Open her up. That's a hack cartridge. It'll be just as if you want to know more about the specific hack you just picked up. You can check it out in the tab screen. That 
That travel wire should take you to the exit platform where I can load you out. Hang on a second. Enemies incoming? This isn't part of the tutorial. The FFC really is everywhere. Give yeah, me a favor, will you? Close that data breach and hold them off while I triangulate the vulnerability in the code. You're doing great, kid. Just a few more seconds and I can pull you out of there. FFC will be sweating buckets once we've got some friends with firepower. Whenever you're ready, hop out of the game so we can talk strategy. Descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast I can roast, I can gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time? You're delirious, mysterious Because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent. Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a million mind games, but instead of say something not illogical, something that is topical, rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable. Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage, and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind I gotta make it, I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna- FFC <laughs> Ugh, they're the most boring suits around. Same black suit, same black tie. Ugh, they wouldn't know a good look if it kicked them in the butt. Anyway, who are you to tell me how to run my gang? 98's not about to take orders from some new kid who can't even match his weak cheeks to his bleak sneaks. Head to toe. Listen, your credibility is plummeting, kid. See yourself out. A uh, hold up. Gilly's your uncle? Hmm. That's a bit of a game changer. 
98 has nothing but respect for the old man. He makes solid games and looks good doing it. Plus, that little robot buddy of his sneaks me free credit sometimes. Welcome to Arcade Together. Let me show you the ropes in Adventure Mode. Here, you battle through stages to increase your sim score. Play it smart, and you'll earn a high sim score and a top score on the leaderboard. But it's not that easy. As your sim score increases, so will your boss meter. Full boss meter means that corrupted portals will stop at all. The stronger one and interact with the boss boss. Defeat that boss, so you'll be rewarded with loot and a bump in your sim score. Plus, more tickets than you can get. If you manage to defeat all four bosses in a single run, you will be awarded with these friendship blood. Oh, and a special collectible. The combo meter. Performing various actions like destroying enemies will increase your combo multiplier. Try to keep the multiplier high by stringing together attacks and action. Come on. 